Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about one-page websites. So these are simple websites where all the content is on one page. These have become more popular in the last several years. I'm not sure why, uh, but they're just kind of a trend. Uh, it might be because it makes the website experience more simple with all the content on one page. It might have something to do with mobile and scrolling through a page and having all the content scrollable on one page rather than navigating from page to page. Uh, and sometimes it just looks cool and it's just simple. So let me show you what they look like and then how you would go about building one. So I've designed a number of one page websites for clients over the last several years. And I just grabbed this one as an example so I could show you. So you can see it's got enough, it's got the content of a standard small business website, but it's all on one page so I can scroll down to the bottom to show you all the content that's available on this website and um, then we get to the bottom and that's pretty much it now it might be a good idea to have a scroll to top button on a one page website but at least on this one we do have the navigation fixed at the top so when you scroll from the top you will always see the navigation and then when you click one of these links it doesn't take you to a new page but it actually just jumps you down to a section of the website. Like pricing takes me down to the pricing section. If I click on contact, it should jump me down to the contact info. If I click on facts, it takes me to the frequently asked questions. So it is usually a very good experience for the visitor because they can find everything in one place without needing to load different pages. It's already loaded, so there's no load time like clicking from page to page like you typically have on websites where if you click about it's got to load a new page in this case it just kind of smoothly moves to that section of the page in terms of design you can really do it however you want it could be one long page with white a white background but a lot of times designers will separate the different sections using different background colors or images just to give the different sections uh, a more distinct area and uh, just break up the organization of the different sections. So that's what a one page website is typically. Uh, but let me show you real quick how it's usually done. A lot of times you wouldn't even have a menu. You might just have a short scrolling page with all the info. In this case, I do have a menu at the top. So if I scroll over one of these links, you will see in my browser at the bottom left, there is a link and it's what's called an anchor link and it has the URL of the website plus uh, the number sign or hash with a um, just a description. In this case, I'm just using the word about. So if I click on it, it'll jump down to the about section. There's different ways you can handle this, but these are called anchor links. So you can research anchor links in HTML to see how to do this. In this case, I'm using a Divi theme in WordPress and all I really need to do is add an ID to a section. So in this case, I'm clicking on the section, I'm going to my advanced tab, and for CSS ID, I'm adding the word that I'm using after the hash, which um, is about. And then I would do the same in this section. Or let's like go down to modalities. If I open that section and go to advanced, it probably just says modalities. And then the modalities link on the page, if we go look at the bottom left, you see it's just hash uh, modalities. And that's what's making these internal links work. Um, so again, I'm not going to get into all the details of how to do that because it's going to be a little different depending on if you're building the site uh, on WordPress or just in HTML manually. Um, so yeah, go ahead and research anchor links to figure out how to, to link to different areas within a page. And then you can do other things like smooth scrolling, which is part of the theme I'm using as well. If you want to check out this Divi theme, I'll link to it in the description below. And then if you're interested in uh, more style for websites, you can check out my video on text formatting and style for websites. And we'll see you on that video.